everyone, welcome back to Dinimation Classics, and this will be my second episode, and the next release is The Namazu, my second animated short that I premiered at San Diego Comic Con in 2012, along with Mr. Raindrop. The Namazu was inspired by real-life events of the Japanese Tohoku earthquake in March 2011, and was named after a mythical giant catfish that lived under the island of Japan that is responsible for the earthquakes. In this short, the Namazu caused earthquakes by sneezing due to its allergic reaction to bullying. The production for the Namazu began after Mr. Raindrop was premiered at WonderCon in March 2012. The writer, Kevin Shawn Michaels, pitched me the script of this animated short film, which takes place at an amusement park in the island of Japan. The short features my teenage self as an animated character named Danny with her pet cat Iggy, who is designed after my Maine Coon boots. The voice cast includes Stella Ritter, who voices Danny, and the famous voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, Tom Kenny, who voices the narrator and the Namazu. I love Danny's films. I give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. If I had another, I'd make it three. How do I get to work with Tom Kenny? The casting was all arranged by our mutual friend Ken Mora. It was really great meeting and working with Tom in person. Just then, Armageddon happened. Okay, cool. I won't sound upbeat about it. The original score, Better For You, was written and performed by Lauren Deere Owens, a singer and actress who played as the young Jessica Day from Fox's New Girl. And on this project, I had two people on the autism spectrum that worked with me. Scott Segel produced the original music for Better For You, and Nicholas Guzman voiced one of the bullies in this short as well as he did the musical score. Like Mr. Raindrop, the Namazu was animated on Toon Boom Studio and composited on Final Cut Pro 7. I hope you enjoy it! Not that long ago, a young girl named Danny visited an amusement park on an island in Japan with her pet cat, Iggy. They were having lots of fun until she saw a group of kids blocking the entrance to her next ride, the Glop of Doom. You're not allowed on the Glop of Doom. Why? Because we said so. And that scruffy cat can't either. Yeah. Why are you so mean? Everyone can enjoy these rides. We will decide that. Just <laughs> <laughs> then, the oh, earth oh. trembled, and the mean kids were knocked away from the entrance. <gasps> then, a great <laughs> earthquake followed. People got off the rides and panicked. The people scattered. Seeing this chaos, Danny closed her eyes and began to meditate on the idea of what could be done to help. Soon, she and her cat Iggy were transported to the Catfish Kingdom. It was there that she was greeted by Kashima. Kashima warned her not to go near the Kingfish Namazu, as they had been battling for centuries, and the stubborn fish Namazu refused to behave. Do not disturb the great Namazu. That sounds fishy to me. Ignoring this, Danny proceeded into the great hall of the catfish. Way in the distance, he spied a tiny fish bowl containing an even tinier fish. <coughs> Getting closer, she noticed a rock tied to its back. Are you the king of the catfish kingdom? I am Namazu. Why are you causing the earth to shake? When people are mean to each other, it makes me sneeze. 
And when I sneeze, all of Japan feels it. But you're so little. Ah, sometimes things so little have great power. How, how can I help you? I think you know what to do. Danny, remove the rock from Namazu. And with that, the girl appeared on the surface again, mm. as she was before. <gasps> the ground began to shake again, and again the people panicked. A crack in the earth formed as wide as the island. It was of a smiling face in recognition of what Danny had done to help the great fish. When the people saw it, they stopped being afraid and smiled. Then the smiles turned to laughter, and the laughter became more laughter, and happiness fell on the end of Japan.